video just want to point out a few things with the multitasking um, I love the multitasking on the tab a 10.1 with the S Pen uh, here's what I've done I've opened four uh, apps and uh, you can shrink them turns into bubbles so I'm gonna open them up and play them up at the same time and even control my phone at the same time see what you know anything bogs down the system or anything slows down and yeah basically play around with uh, some of the functions here on this uh, new OS here so that's um, that's <clears throat> I got the Trump madness here I don't know if you guys can even see this screen what else can I search for? Um, let's see. Yeah, I was looking for a label printer. So, anyways, I'll open that up. Oh. Okay, maybe I should. Uh, I'll pause this up here. All right. So I got sort of like a file manager app here. Um, I've got. Uh, Firefox and I've got a music player so one thing I did notice here let's say I try to you know open a song at the same time that the video is playing it'll stop the song it'll talk, stop the video so pretty smart um, yeah so another thing I can do here I side sync my phone so uh, I can control my phone you know my phone can be just charging uh, sitting uh, somewhere across the room or maybe in a different part of the house um, I do have a calendar app on my phone which pops up and alerts me and that's something I, I sort of like um, if I if I didn't have that on my phone I would have that on this tablet but I'm not going to be carrying this tablet everywhere I go usually when I go out uh, run errands or whatever. I'll always have a phone. I'll, I'll have this phone on me So it will remind me of anything I need to do will pop up um, And I actually it pops up right here on the screen too like right when um, an alert pops up here, so uh, Let's see let's see if I can Okay, so I'm gonna turn on my phone's Bluetooth through this and uh, Let's see I'm pretty sure what I can do then is then you know blast some music through a, a Bluetooth speaker that I have let's say in the shower or something like that so really this phone can just be sitting you know mainly sort of at, le at least I think it was like a hundred feet within this tablet and uh, then I can just control the tap uh, to control the phone uh, music wise or whatever I wanted to do um, take calls even you know um, let's see if I can drag and drop some files here so <laughs> so these all minimizes into these little bubbles which is cool so um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open up my photo gallery and let's say real quick I'm going to open up this picture let's see if I can so I selected it let's see hold on though no, no. Mm, back back let's see if I can no I can't see what I wanted to do is drag and drop um do that I'm sure there's a way um, my phone has an infrared port so I use it to uh, turn on the TV turn it off you know sometimes turn the volume up and down it definitely helps if you can't find your remote or if you just need to get out of the house and you just pull out your phone real quick so technically if you point this on a TV on the side of the room you can just play a few tricks and just you know keep messing around with it even though you're not even there <laughs> um, 
What else did I notice here? I like that the tab A, it comes with Microsoft apps pre-installed, right? So I don't have to show, I don't have to go to the store, to the Play Store and look for, you know, the, the uh, document openers and all that, you know, Excel or PowerPoint. It's on there already. It's pre-installed. That's awesome to me. If I was a student, if I just need to take notes and then looking for you know, a stylus compatible, um, a Wacom stylus in particular, uh, tablet, this is the way to go for sure. Um, and this one right here, that's, this is the Wacom Smart Bamboo. It's got one button. So once you click it, it basically just mimics exactly what this, what the, the, the stock one comes, uh, comes with. Um, let's see, yeah, right there. It does right so like for instance I'll, I'll show you word <clears throat> these don't mind these little buttons are it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a little annoying I don't want to sign up right now do no I don't want to sign up okay um, all right so Let's say, let's say I am reading something on my Kindle, all right? <clears throat> um, let's see, yeah, this is a good one here. I'm going to close this up. So, I like how this is all formatted. I want to see if this will preserve this format. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. Okay, I'm gonna copy this. And you know another thing that this could do? Um, here, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that. Now I can, I can, uh, I can translate this. All right, so I'm gonna select from English to Japanese. All right, right there. Blah 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 blah. Nas step. Probably important. Nas step one. You know, um, I don't know why it doesn't continue on with the translation. Maybe that's the end of the, he thinks it's the end of the sentence or something. But anyways, so I have now copied that portion of the Kindle. And all I want to do is put it in. I just messed up here, hold on. Uh, yeah, here we go. So, right there, you know? And I'm just gonna type on my Bluetooth keyboard here. It's quite effective. Um, if you want it to compose, start working on essays or even documents, executive documents. Let's make this a little smaller. So those, it's not perfect. Like what, what I would do, I'd actually go in, where's the Kindle? I'd actually go into the Kindle instead of, what happened here? There you go. So, there's another way you can do this too, is to just highlight this text with the S Pen. Smart select, and I wanna highlight this amount of text here. Highlight it, give it a sec. It's gonna extract the text. Um, once that gets uh, popping up, you can, let's see. I guess you just extract the text. Oh, there it is, and then copy. Right now, what is this W? What are these signs? Okay, so it's not perfect, right? But let's let's see what what happened here. Let's see what uh, it pastes into this Word document. There you go. So it, it that that way preserves the formatting. So you're gonna run into those issues. You're gonna you know you're gonna be able to see um, different ways. And different little tricks to just fix 
incompatibility issues. But overall, man, this thing's a beast. Like, what do I have here? OneNote, Galaxy app, TuneIn. You know, I, I like how I can just pop up my phone. And uh, see, on my phone, I've got Facebook. I don't want Facebook on the tablet. The tablet never came with Facebook, which I love. Um, I just want to play, like, it's you know, sport cool. radio. And it's coming from my phone. The data is coming from my phone, but it's coming out of the speakers of the tablet. And this is awesome. So I can even, with this app right here, I can even record, you know, this this interview or, or this commentary or something, or, or this game or something, or, or even a radio station. So, something I love uh, remotely, I can do, um, you know, WhatsApp. I don't want to open my phone. I just want to, uh, you know, just want to do that. Yeah, there you go. Right? Uh, my messages, you know, basically anything, right? So I'm going to minimize that. Um, there's another cool thing here. I just want to clean the RAM and the, the, some of the cache out of my storage, memory storage right away. I can do that through this widget. Okay, no need to go into the settings and go into, you know, drill down all the way into the sub menu. It's right there. Boom, right? So I just cleared. Now I've got 1.2 gigs free. And I've got almost 4 gigs of RAM free. Um, sorry, of, of internal storage. Excuse the baby. Uh, this is the reason why I'm in in the dark here, actually, in my office doing this. Because I, I, I really wanted you guys to check this this uh, these features out. Um, but yes, I hope I didn't babble on too long. Um, but dude, this, if you guys are looking for a tablet, man, it's a beast. Here's, here's that flip book. You know, I hated flip book on my other tablet, but this, this tablet just rocks. You could just keep scrolling away. It pulls it real efficiently. Um, you know, hide it. Um, so there's, there's a lot more I want to talk about, guys. Just uh, if you have any questions, please leave some comments or questions. And please like and subscribe to this video channel. I will see you guys there. It's been a, a good one. Um, I'll see you in a little bit.